tempers have flared in ugly scenes on and off the field in Pakistan's Asia Cup cricket clash with Afghanistan in Sharjah. A fiery confrontation on the field between Pakistan batter Asif Ali and Afghan paceman Farid Ahmed was outdone only by vile fights between fans in the stands at the game. Watch in the video above, fans throw seats in grandstand chaos watch, stream and catch up with Australia's home of cricket on 7 plus during the heated match, in which Pakistan took the chocolates, video was captured of fans pulling seats up from the stands and hurling them at each other with scary force. Ghastly vision shows fans throwing seats some 15 meters into big groups of people, while other supporters were crushed in the head by aggressors with the chairs at point-blank range. Pakistani singer, actor and TV host Fakhri Alam slammed the foul behavior. This behavior by Afghan cricket fans is so very shameful and disappointing, he wrote. ICC must ensure all cricketing venues are safe for fans. This violent behavior cannot be allowed. Hope local authorities take action against all the culprits. Very sad and disgusting. This is absolutely lethal throwing chairs randomly in air not bothered who they might hit with women and children in the stands. Watch more footage from the dramatic match in the video below things were only marginally more amicable on the field, with Ali and Ahmed creating fireworks of their own. Tempers boiled over in the penultimate over of the T20 semi-final when Ahmed dismissed Ali for 16 with a brutal bouncer that found the top edge of Ali's bat and landed in the safe hands of Karim Jannah. The huge wicket put the Afghans in a commanding position in the game, with Pakistan still needing 12 runs to win with one wicket in the sheds and nine balls to spare. But before Ali walked off, he took exception to a spiteful send-off given to him by Ahmed, who celebrated in the batter's face. Ali physically shoved Ahmed in the chest, but the bowler wasn't done with him yet. He followed Ali and continued to offer some words of advice before the Pakistani batter turned around and feigned to swing the bat at Ahmed's head. They almost came to blows for a second time before Afghan youngster Asmat Shirla Omarzi got between the two. Former Afghanistan skipper Dulbad and Nabe came to the support of his countrymen. This is stupidity at extreme level by Asif Ali and should be banned. From the rest of the tournament, any bowler has the right to celebrate but being physical is not acceptable at all, he said. Pakistan teenager Nassim Shah smashed back-to-back -back sixes in the last over to seal the one-wicket victory which sets up an Asia Cup final against Sri Lanka. Needing 11 off the last over on Wednesday, after the fiery exchange had died down, the 19-year-old Shah clobbered consecutive sixes off fast bowler Faisal Haq Faruqi off the first two deliveries to take Pakistan to 9-131. To In a Super 4 game dominated by bowlers, Pakistan's pace bowlers and spinner also did well to restrict Afghanistan to 6-129. To Loading tweet Loading tweet Shah had earlier clean bowled captain Mohammad Nabi for a golden duck to finish with 1-19. Pakistan's win also ended India's slim chances to reach Sunday's final. A jubilant Shah threw away his helmet and batting gloves while sprinting toward the dressing room once his last hit sailed over long off and his teammates also rushed onto the field to celebrate the breathtaking win. To be honest, it was quite a tensed environment in the dressing room, Pakistan skipper Babar Zam said. I was in the dressing room, I thought it is cricket and I have seen Nassim bat like this, so I had a little bit of belief. Left armor Faruqi had put Pakistan on the back foot when he trapped Babar like before wicket for a golden duck and then struck twice in his penultimate over before bowling two full tosses to Shah in the last over to end up with 3-34. to Babar has struggled in the Asia Cup after his four straight below par scores of 10, 9, 14 and 0, but Pakistan's middle order has done well in run chases. Leg spinner Rashid Khan, 2-25, had newly crowned number 1 T20 batter Mohammad Rizwan LBW before shot up Khan, 36, and Iftihar Ahmed, 30, steadied the chase with a 42-run partnership. But Afghanistan didn't give up in the death overs and claimed six quick wickets once Ahmed, 3-31, had Iftihar caught at deep mid-wicket in the 16th over. Shadab also went down in the next over as he top-edged Rashid to backward point after hitting the leg spinner for six, but could not resist going for another big hit. Earlier, after being put into bat, Rahman Alagurbas and Hayes Rachula Zazai perished against Pakistan pace inside the batting power play.
spinners Mohamed Nawaz, 1-23, and Shadab, 1-27, stemmed the runs in the middle overs as Afghanistan struggled to accelerate. Shadab claimed the key wicket of Najibullah Zadran, 10, and Harris Rauf buried his pace in the death to finish with 2-26 as he got rid of top scorer Ibrahim Zadran, 35. The boys were brilliant with the ball and in the field, but again we didn't finish well, Nabi said. We didn't control our nerves at the end. We gave two options to the bowlers, slower balls and Yorkers, and sadly we couldn't execute it when we needed to. With op. And finally, thank you all for watching the video. Please like and comment your opinion so we can discuss together. Don't forget to subscribe, press the bell to follow and update many other interesting news. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.